up you guys, it's been Sanity, and today I'm here with my boy Danny what out up? here in Long Beach. And um, today he's gonna be teaching you guys how to do a butterfly twist. All right guys, once again, my name is Danny. Um, yeah, a little bit about me. I've been doing uh, tricking, martial arts, acrobatic for about 12 years. Today we're gonna go through a bunch of techniques for butterfly twists and uh, go from there, okay? All right guys, so the first thing you wanna learn before the butterfly twist is actually the butterfly kick. Um, learning that will give you the proper setup for the twist. Uh, there's a few things that I like to do before I do the butterfly twist, which is the setup. So let me show you guys. I start with my left leg on my left side, obviously, but I want like to start, I always try to keep my left leg behind me. So that's my swing through leg, right? So as I step into the butterfly kick, I step back here. And there's this weird motion that people tend to disregard, which is the dip motion here to here, okay? Here. Right. Now once again, you start like this, okay? Step back with your left foot and dip right into it, okay? The arms can move any direction. I mean, you can throw it with both arms together or one arm at a time like I do. Um, but for the most part, that dip is what's gonna give you the actual lift off, okay? So once again, here, dip and up, okay? Now the second part is the actual kick, okay? So, step back, dip, and now the right leg kicks straight up. Now, here's the thing with butterfly kick, okay? Every time you do a butterfly kick or a twist, you're gonna be landing facing the opposite direction. Okay, so let's say I'm facing this way, starting off. When I get into it, right, I'm gonna be facing that way. Now, if you actually play Chinese jump rope before, it's actually easier to learn, because you know, if you imagine a string, and you have to kick over the string, or the rope, right, you actually, do the butterfly kick naturally. Like that motion right there, it's like a scissor kick. All right, now I'm gonna demonstrate the actual butterfly kick. So here, left foot step back, dip, and kick. Okay. Notice again, I'm landing facing the opposite direction. All right, one more time guys, this time just the whole motion. Now the actual butterfly twist, it's gonna be a little weird because the, le the second leg that takes off is the same leg you're going to be landing with. So, back, once you go up, see how the left leg is still on the ground? Once you go up for the twist, right, the same leg is going to be landing first, okay? So let me show you guys the whole motion. So here, you notice that? Left leg first and then right leg comes right after. Okay. Now keep in mind, a butterfly twist is only a 360, you know, so it's just like it's just simply a 360, just like that, okay? But horizontal. If you try to land with the right foot, you're gonna over rotate and you're gonna miss your landing and you're gonna land right on your butt. So let's break it down real quick. So, first, you wanna do the butterfly setup. So, you wanna step back with the left, dip down, and as soon as the right leg goes up, you bring the arm in nice and tuck. And what I do is I look over to my left side because that's the direction I'm twisting, okay? Twist and land with the same leg, left leg. All right, so the timing to win the twist is uh, varies from, from people to people. Um, I twist as soon as my left leg takes off at the ground, off the ground. Some people actually have a slight delay at the top because they want to reach maximum height, uh, which actually slows you down a little bit to transition to another combo, but it gives you that nice air time. So some people, as soon as you step back with the left leg, right, and dip into position, that's, this is what I do. I actually twist as soon as this leg comes off the ground. Right, almost like, almost simultaneously, right? And other people, they like to do the butterfly kick first. At the very top, they'll twist. So I'm gonna show you guys a different style of butterfly twist. The first one is gonna be the, the basic one. So same motion. All right, so the second one is what I do to set up into another move. Okay, it's like, kind of like an L kick. Okay, so here. The way you get into the second twist, you have to do that midway in the air. So as you're up in the air, the left foot sticks out like this while the right foot is horizontal. So it looks like this in the air, and this leg just kicks right over.
And then the rodeo twist, that one you have to time it to where both legs in the air. And as you're twisting in the air, you fold your legs back real quick. You're not grabbing your leg. You're just pretending you're grabbing your leg. And it's a split second, you know, arch that back and come right back into position. When doing those different type of butterfly twists, you gotta keep that in mind too, what style it is. Now the rodeo, you have to do that slight pause at the air or reach peak height before you do that twist. So that way it gives you a little more time to kind of pretend to grab your leg. And then the L kick one, right? You have to do it instantly because that leg, you need some torque to twist that leg around and whip it over trying to, while trying to maintain that straight position. All right guys, so a few common things people do. Um, the very first mistake that I notice most people in a butterfly setup is the actual dip I mentioned earlier. Most people don't dip, so they don't get as much air time. So what ends up happening is they twist from the top here and they land the same direction they're facing. So it looks strange and they're not even a, they're not even a parallel to the ground. Another thing that I see more often is um, they'll try to kick up as high as they can, right? But the timing of their twist is off, so they, either rotate too slow and land straight on their side, or they'll rotate too, uh, too much and, and um, over rotate and uh, land on their back. So one or the other can usually happens. And another uh, common error that people make is actually not twisting fast enough, so they're under rotating. Let's say um, as they're coming up to position, they'll twist, but or they're not spotting, which is something I've got to mention. If they're not spotting where they're gonna be landing, they tend to under rotate or over rotate, okay? But, um, as long as the timing of the kick and the twist is almost in sync, uh, it shouldn't be much of a problem. But most people you'll notice that they would not do the dip and they'll just under rotate by twisting too slow or over rotate by twisting too fast. All right guys, so um, butterfly twist is something that you have to practice um, not too much, but the butterfly kick is the one you wanna practice the most of. Like I would do the butterfly kick as a warm up drill to get into butterfly twist because you want to have that movement to be like second nature, something you don't have to think about, you know? So the timing of the twist and the kick is uh, in sync. And um, you know, with a lot of practice, you definitely get to it. Uh, don't quit just because you fall down a couple of times, you know, butterfly twist is something that people tend to fail on often. So don't overthink it, just get them, try it again. And if you continue to make the same mistake, just go back to the basic. Because most people, basic people tend to ignore. So don't ignore, don't be one of those. Just keep drilling over and over and you'll get it, okay? All right, guys, my name is Danny and I'll uh, see you next time.